the online classes of English literature. I hope you all are fit and fine at home. Today I am going to talk about the first chapter of your English to book that is all about a dog written by A. G. Gardiner. Before going to start this lesson, we will know about the writer. The full name of the writer is Alfred George Gardiner. He born on 1865 and died 1946. He preferred to call himself Edge A. G. Gardiner. He was an English journalist editor and author. His essays written under the pseudonym Alpha of the Plug are highly regarded. He made great efforts to raise awareness about social issues. Before I could start, I will tell about the title of the story. The title All About a Dog is justified because a dog plays the key character in this story. Since the story is about the confusion in the bus because of a dog, for that reason I kept the image of a bus. So let us read about the story. It was a bitterly cold night and even at the far end of the bus, the east wind that reaped along the street cut like a knife. The bus stopped and the two women and men got in together and filled the vacant places. One young woman was dressed in skin and carried one of those little Pygmy's dogs that women in skin like to carry in their laps. So the bus conductor came the, sorry, the bus conductor came in and took the fares. So here the story started uh, sorry it was uh, a bitterly cold night that means I think like uh, winter evening so the uh, winds are blowing like uh, it, uh, cutting like a knife so the bus stopped so when the bus stopped two women and a man entered and uh, sat in that vacant places among them one lady or the one woman dressed in silk skin that means uh, uh, that highly expensive dress that made of skin and fur of silks with she carried a little dog that named picnic dogs the what the uh, calling the dog the picnic dogs and where he uh, where she kept she kept in her laps so that time the bus conductor came and took the face. Then his eyes rested with cold malice on the beady eyed dog. I saw trouble brewing. This was the opportunity for which he had been waiting and he intended to make the most of it. I had marked him as the type of what Mr. Wells has called the most called the resentful employee. Mr. Wells has called the resentful employee the man with a general wag, grievance against everything, and the particular grievance against passengers who came and sat in his bus while he shivered at the door. So when the bus conductor took the fare, 
that time his eye fell on the dog and he wanted to implement some rules so what the rules in bus animals are not allowed that means pet animals are not allowed that type a uh, law he met and he want to implement that law for that reason he got an opportunity and he said in a uh, resentful employee that like it means uh, he said in a bitter way to that people who came and said the vacant place for why because they said not only said that lady said with a dog but here the uh, conductor standing near the door and uh, he feel cold for that reason he if he will say some like that that mean the lady will go to the top floor and he will sit there you must take the dog out he said the sau venom that means rigidly or bitterly he said you take out the dog i shall certainly do nothing of the kind you can take my name and address said the woman who had evidently expected the challenge and knew the reply so when the uh, bus conductor said you take out the dog that time the lady or the woman said if you need my name and address you can write but i will not take out and she knew like this situation will come and she will handle that means uh, she know the replies you must take the dog out that's my order i won't go on the top in such weather it would kill me said the woman when the conductor forced that time the lady said i i can't move because this uh, night that means the cold the breeze coming very fast and no one can sit at that top if i will go it will kill me certainly not said her lady companion you have got a cough as it is so sa, sa, that time only that lady companion who sat near that lady told no you don't move because already you have cough if you will go there then surely you will die or it uh, will affect uh, you will get cold it's nonsense said her male companion that time one male person said that the man is there he said is nonsense that means useless type you are saying to the conductor the conductor pulled the bell and the bus stops this bus doesn't go until the dog is brought out and he stepped on the onto the pavement and waited it was his moment of time he had the law on his side and a whole bus full of angry people under the harrow his embittered soul was having a real holiday so what happened when the conversation is going at that time that lady said i will not move and that uh, his companion also said don't move male companion also said this is useless stuff what she was saying here so by that time the conductor pulled the bell and the bus stopped and said the bus will not move until you will not take out the dog and what happened after saying that that conductor came down on the pavement and waited means 
he uh, he was watching either they are going or not so because he thought this is the time i want to implement my rule and he thought i got that victory he had the law on his side and the whole bus of angry people that means when the bus stopped all the people got uh, angry and now what they said they tried to convince the the conductor but the conductor thinking i am good and i want to implement my rule the stone inside rules high simple is no better than a dictator why isn't he in the army call the police let's all report him let's make him give us a face back for everybody was on the side of the lady and the dog so like that time what happened the um, conversation is going on and in between the people are raged and they are shouting same full to the saying to the uh, conductor that time the some of people or some of the passengers to uh, told call the police we will report because and some are saying you give our fast back because you kept the bus here and you will not move for that reason you return our fast and that time everyone are on the side of the lady that next moment or that moment the little animal sat blinking at the dim lights in happy unconscious of the rams of which he was the cause so that time that uh, bus you know bus light is dim so that uh, in dim light the uh, dog watching and maybe thinking this all cause for me only due to me this uh, this type situation created the conductor came to the door what's your number said one passenger taking a uh, sorry taking out a pocket book with a gesture of terrible things there is my number said the conductor imperturbably so what happened that time the conductor came to watch either they agreed or not so that time one of the passengers asked what's your number so the suddenly he took a uh, pocket notebook from his uh, pocket and gave this is my number or there is my number give us our give us our fast back you have engaged to carry us you can't leave us here on light so that passenger said you have to give our fast back because you committed or you told us you will drop to our destination but you not did you left here a whole night so you have to return our fares no fares back said the conductor so straightly the conductor said i will not give you fares back two or three passengers got out and they disappeared into the night they disappeared is vanished no 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 here two or three passenger got out means came down and went away because maybe uh, they are home nearby for that reason they went the conductor took another turn on the pavement then went and had a talk with the driver so that time the conductor saw here and there because you you are standing on the pavement pavement means the place where people are walking and went to talk with the driver this is the story
half this is the half story we will discuss later the rest part so dear student here i kept some homework to you that written in your book this questions written in your book please find out the answers okay and in your book some word banks also given recall the word uh, recall the uh, word meanings and some of the word meanings or some of the words i kept here with the synonyms and antonyms it will help you to know the meaning of the words and dear children try to read the story again because if you will read again and again then you will know the theme or you know the main uh, concept or main reason of this story try to find out more words underline the words and find out the synonyms and antonyms if you will feel that means this word for me it's difficult so underline it and write their meaning with the synonym and antonyms i hope you understood up to this much as i up to as i told you uh, that last 13 number that last paragraph the last paragraph means what i taught and second part we will discuss later